Hello and welcome to this very short practice, perfect for ladies who are in all trimesters of pregnancy. But please do be aware that if you are dealing with any particular symptoms or you are worried about exercising during pregnancy, it is always a good idea to get your doctor's approval before practicing yoga. So let's begin in child's pose. You're going to need a couple of cushions to make yourself nice and comfortable. Let's go. Swing yourself around, bring your knees as wide as the mat, your big toes to touch. You can slide the cushion in, maybe have one bent over slightly at the top of the cushion. Come down onto your forearms and rest your forehead onto that top cushion that's a little bit higher. Close the eyes and let's really just take a moment to arrive. Soften the shoulders, the facial muscles and the belly. And just begin to deepen your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose, keeping the quality of your breath smooth and silky, steady and even. And knowing that for the next 10 minutes or so, you have nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Nothing else is required of you other than to just breathe and flow, honoring the way your body feels in this moment, knowing that it might be different to how you felt yesterday, it might be different to how you'll feel next week, but that's okay. Meeting yourself where you're at, right here, right now. Good job. Begin to press into the forearms, slowly ease your way out of this one. Pop your cushions to one side, we'll come back to those in a sec. Bring the hands to the floor, push into the hands, slide the knees under the hips, and let's begin by just taking a little bit of a flow here. On the inhale, we're going to shift forwards, let the hips drop slightly, and on the exhale, we're going to shift back. Inhale, shifting forwards, just letting the hips drop forwards. Exhale, belly engages, shift back. Good job, inhale, weight into the wrist. Hips shift forward, collarbones open. Exhale, hug the belly in. Draw the hips back towards the heels or as far as you've got space for. Last one. And come back up to center. We'll just take a few little wrist circles clockwise and anti clockwise. And then just come up to your fingertips, really grip the mat. And then walk the knees forward slightly, tuck the toes under and take the feet just wider than hip width apart so that we're in a nice big forward fold. Give the head a little shake, yes and no. And then walk the hands up the shins, take your time, pause if you need to, if you feel dizzy. And then we'll go all the way up the thighs until we find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Arms by your side, palms face forward, set your gaze, your drishti. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale everything out. Next inhale, arms sweep up and over, bend the knees. Utkatasana, chair pose. Tuck the tailbone under, pull the lower ribs in, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Belly comes between the thighs. 
head, neck and shoulders relax. Knees are generously bent. So we're kind of not really moving the legs from that chair pose position so that we can come back in. <laughs> so next inhale, drop the hips a little lower, sweep the arms up and overhead if they'll go. If not, arms can come to shoulder height. Exhale, fold, belly between the thighs, head, neck and shoulders, relaxed twice more. Inhale, push into feet, arms sweep up and overhead. If that's comfortable, biceps by the ears, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Beautiful, final one. Inhale, arms sweep up, hips drop down. And this time we pause here. Push into the feet, root to rise, arms sweep down by your side. Good job. Step the right foot back, bring the right foot 45 degrees, hips are still squared to the front of the mat. Bring a little softness into that left knee, bring your left hand behind your back. Inhale, right hand swipes, swipes <laughs> sweeps up and overhead. And on your exhale, you're going to hinge forward 90 degrees. So that left leg needs to be slightly wider than it might be in this posture usually. So you've got space for the belly to come in between the legs. Inhale, push into both feet, come up to standing. Once more, exhale, fold. This time, if you feel stable, you don't have to, bringing the right fingertips to the floor. So your feet are about on train tracks rather than trying to line the feet up. We want to be nice and stable and steady in this posture, not wobbling all over the place. Good. Bring the right hand behind your back, push into both feet, stand up nice and tall. Good, step the right foot forwards. Left foot back this time, 45 degrees. Hip squared with the short edge of your mat. Right hand behind your back. Inhale, left hand rises. Softness into the right knee. Exhale, hinge forwards. Inhale, stand tall. Press into both feet. Exhale, hinge. Shoulders slide back away from ears. Chest and hips parallel with the ground. Inhale, reach up. Final one, exhale, fold. This time we can go as far as we like. Maybe we pause here, perhaps fingertips to the ground or a block, shoulders back, softness in the right knee, back of the neck long, breath steady and strong. Gorgeous. Bring the left hand behind your back, press into both feet, stand nice and tall, take your time. Step the left foot forwards next to the right. Inhale, both arms sweep up and overhead. Exhale, fold. Belly between thighs, knees nice and soft, head, neck and shoulders. Relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, fingertips to shins or to the mat, wherever you can reach. And then exhale, step the right foot back. Come onto the right toes. Wiggle left knee wide slightly of the left hand. Pause here. Runner's lunge. If your hands are not meeting the mat here, bring them to blocks. Or if it feels more comfortable, drop your right knee down. Push into the hands. If the right knee is dropped down, lift it away from the mat. See if you can either Slide your left foot back to plank, or if you prefer to have that right knee down, slide the left knee back to three-quarter plank position. So your choice, here or here. Pause, breathe, hold. You got this. And push into the hands, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here, tailbone rises high. Strong through your foundations. And then tiptoe the feet to the top of your mat. Keep the knees soft. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. This time, step the left toes back. 
Option to drop the left knee down. Right foot wiggles outside of the right hand. Low runner's lunge. Pause, breathe. Remember you can grab blocks or any props to help you here under the hands. And then we either drop the left knee down and slide the right knee back to low plank or we keep the left knee lifted. We push into the hand, step the right foot back. Full plank position, nearly there. Lower the knees, take the knees a little wider than hip width, big toes touch, sink the hips back for two breaths in child's pose. If you need to come onto forearms to create a little more space then do. This time let the head drop. Slow the breath. Become aware of the quality of your breathing without the need to pass judgment, just simply aware. Walk the hands back towards the knees. Bring the knees together. Place the left hand into the right, soften the shoulders, sit tall. We'll just consolidate the practice with five slow, Deep breaths, a little fuller than you would normally breathe. So that on each inhale, you feel the belly, the rib cage, and the collarbones expand. And on each exhale, you feel the collarbones, the rib cage, and the belly gently hug in. As you breathe here, taking a moment to congratulate yourself for taking a little moment out of your day to nourish and honor your own well-being. Last deep breath. And lift the corners of the mouth into a smile. Bring the hands into prayer, heart center. Bow the head in reverence for your practice. Namaste, yogis. Well done.